Hey guys, so, uh, hmm, I filmed a 10 minute video of what's in my pencil case and then permanently deleted it, casually, uh, because I'm really smart like that. And also there's a light flickering, so please try to ignore that. I need the light on because the lighting sucks and my camera sucks. And, um, yeah, so I need to, I need to leave the light on. Just don't look. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to film this entire thing all over again, and I'm really upset, and this is second day hair, so we're just going to not judge that. And, okay, so i got to do this really quick. I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes again. All right, this is my pencil case, and I got it from Daiso in Singapore for $2. It's amazing, and I really like it. Red is my favorite color, and I'm a fan of polka dots. So it has three pockets. It has um, this pocket, this pocket, and a mesh like back pocket. So I'm going to go through one pocket at a time. So my first... <laughs> I'm struggling a little. Alright, this is what's in my the um, top, but I don't know, pocket. Anyway, um... And, yeah, I'll just go through everything. So, I have a lot of random pens, pens and pencils, I feel like, that I just, like, find places. They just appear to me. And this is one of them. And it's a brand pencil, Ly Lyrico, I guess. And um, it has a really unique tip that I really like. And it's hard to explain. It's unlike any pen tip that I've seen before. So, it's very, like... I don't know how to explain it, um, but I'm a fan of it. And then um, I have this random pen also. When I was working, interning at the Singapore American School, a bunch of Taiwanese librarians came in and they gave us these pens. And um, it's super cute. It writes so finely. I would try to do like a close-up thing, but like that's like not happening. Like it's just very subpar. Um, so... Yeah, um, but it writes really, really finely, very smoothly, and I can't find it anywhere. And I actually went to the lengths of removing the cartridge inside and looking at the, um, the brand. And I went to the website and it, I couldn't find it anywhere. So, uh, yeah. And also the cap, um, stays on like it clicks on and it stays on which is really nice because sometimes with these pens I find like this style I find that the caps come off and then I have these two pens so this is a pilot v pen in medium and this is a pilot varsity pen I still do not know the difference apparently there is one and um they're both I have blue and black and they're both just disposable fountain pens. Um, the black one is currently my favorite. It writes really well for um, things like journaling. Um, it writes best, I think, on thicker paper because it is very inky but dries super fast. Um, but I also have a typo notebook and the paper isn't like ultra thick on those. And um, you can sort of see it on the other side, but it doesn't bleed through. Uh, it does bleed under... Um, uh, not Sharpies, highlighters though, which I'm really sad about because otherwise it's perfect. Um, it's not the ideal note-taking pen because it's, um, since it's like fountain penny, it's kind of, um, thicker. It has a thicker line. It would be more like a one millimeter, um, the equivalent of a one millimeter tip, um, rather than the typical like 0.7 or whatever. Um, but overall, I use it in my Tumblr notebook, I use it in my planner and for journaling, so yeah. Then I have this pen, it's the Uniball Eye in Fine, and um, it's a pretty standard pen, uh, but what I like a lot about it is that it, it dries fast and it doesn't smudge under my hand. It's, it doesn't, it's not great under highlighters, but I'm a lefty, so I suffer from like ink smudge syndrome, and um... The problem, in case you righties don't understand the struggle, um, when you're writing, because you're writing the dir like the other direction, your hand goes over the ink, like unless you are like like at a weird angle, it's it's an inevitability, and um, so I 
like always have ink smudges on the side of my hand from that and this does not do that so good find and um to all you lefties out there i really like it and then i have a stabilo 0.88 and um i actually have the whole i think 24 or 20 all of the colors um i use them for note taking sometimes and when I'm like color coding stuff, um, which I can show you if you're interested. My problem with these is the tip. It's like the Sharpie pen tip. And um, it's, I don't know if you can really see that. But um, the problem is, is that if you write hard, which I write really hard, um, it, the tip kind of like squishes. It's hard to explain, but hopefully some of you know what I mean. Um, so that it only writes well from a certain angle. Um, and so... I don't know, I'm, that's, like, I'm not a fan of that. Um, but otherwise, it's writes pretty smoothly. Um, it doesn't bleed. I, I like them. Uh, and I'm actually not sure what how much these cost because I got them for free. Um, so, yeah. And then I just have four mechanical pencils. Three are my favorite, um, just Bic 0.7 millimeter lead. Uh, and... I don't know, I really like them, I like the design, I find they're comfortable even though I still get that like writing callus um, on my finger where I grip it, and um, I prefer 0.7 millimeter. I, I used to really like 0.5, but I feel like, I don't know, I just, I, well, I keep saying I, I'm not a fan, but um, I found it wasn't great for uh, note taking. I don't know, sometimes if the lead is thinner, it's more prone to making, like, indents. And then I have this one, which just has, like, a cap on the eraser. I don't, I hate mechanical pencil erasers. I swear by mechanical pencils, but, like, I their erasers are just kind of pointless. Um, and it's the kind that, like, has that little thing that comes out and then, like, it, ow, I just stab myself. Well, usually... See, <laughs> usually it goes uh, back in. And I got it from Popular at Bukit Panjang in Singapore. I'm pretty sure that's the name. It says Pot Basic. Why they use the Z, I don't know. Um, so then I have, oh god, this video is long. I'm so sorry. My second, I'm going really fast. Okay, I'm trying. Um, my second pocket has all of my mild liners so typical of me I know and I got these for Christmas because they're actually not that expensive they're not much of like a splurge but um I am a big fan of these Ugh. um so yeah I don't know um they just have really pretty colors the red and gray are my favorite and I think they're worth the hype and then I have a sharpie because you literally never know when you might need a sharpie like, actually, they write on everything, and they just, I just, they're Sharpies. Um, so then the last, the mesh pocket here, I have all of my, like, papery stuff, I guess. I that's what I call it. Um, so I have the full adhesive sticky notes, which I actually filmed a review on that I'll post at some point. Um, I got those for Christmas. Regular sticky notes. I have a drawer full of sticky notes in my, um, bedroom, actually. At some point, I might do, like, a tour of my stationery, but it would take, like, 15 minutes. And then I have my, um, index cards. You never know when you might need an index card, right? Like, they're good for taking notes, writing equations. You just, you know, it's an essential. Then I have these little tabs. I love them. They're so good for, oh. Okay, things get stuck in them because they're sticky, but um, obviously, I really like the um, arrowy thing. They're really good for marking places and color coding things, um, color coding pages. The only downside is that you can't write on them, which is why I also have these, which you can write on. And um, I use them for pretty similar things, but I can make a video on how I use different, um, like, post-it note things if you'd be interested in that and then I have my mini one and two paper clips because always come prepared 
So, oh yeah, and I have lead. Um, it's 0. 0.7. Pretty sure I got this case in like seventh grade. And then, um, sorry, I have like scarf hair. If you wear scarves, you understand where like your hair gets trapped in your scarf. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure I got this in seventh grade and it's seen it better days. Uh, and then I've just like refilled it with lead from other cases. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's everything. It's over 10 minutes. I'm so sorry about this. I'm so angry at myself for deleting the other one, but I feel like it's kind of a rite of passage. Like every YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber I know has done something like that. Um, so I've learned my lesson and I really need to clear out my phone. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't know how to come up with a good outro, and I need to leave for my course soon, and this is getting really long, so thank you so much for watching, um, please send any requests to my blog or in the comments, and I'll try to list all, as many products as I can in the down bar. Yes, okay, bye! Mwah.